only way to do it. So with the album, one of the things that's always wonderful about everything that you've put out so far is all the sort of creative and artistic side and um, all the videos. Uh, tell me through some of the, the different artists that you've been working with in Arden because you did one with um, Arbutus Yarns. Yes. And then you did one with Chris Judge and Renata, didn't yes. you? Yeah, yeah. I love making videos. I just think it's such an interesting medium. You can do anything. You can do absolutely anything. And especially now that you're not trying to get a video on MTV or, or anything. Uh, well, unless they want to it. It could happen. <laughs> but it's not sort of like that's the only yeah. outlet, which it used True. to be, or, you know, or no disco, I hope. Yeah. But, uh, but now, now it's really you want, you want on the internet, so you're making a video for YouTube, um, which is just such a more democratic way of, 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 of doing it, you know? And, and you, things can fly around the internet um, with, and you don't, you know, I mean, it helps to have maybe a kitten, yeah. maybe a puppy, maybe a tiny animal falling off something. You know, that's the, that's the element yeah. that... that of a child uh, that laughs inappropriately or bites. Exactly. Yes. You know, if I could yeah. get all these into a music video, um, <laughs> you'd be onto a winner. <laughs> but it's, it's great fun to be able to, um, to kind of make something for, you know, and you don't need a million quid to get your video on MTV anymore. You know, it's, you can make something for a fiver. And I did, there was a video with, I made with... Uh, Miles O'Reilly from our Buddhist Yarns um, that we made in my parents' bath and it was for a five or a three hit, whatever it was, to get the earplugs to shove up my nose. <laughs> and uh, and it's you know, it's an underwater video and it looks all dreamy and sort of magic, but it's a you know, it's in my parents' bath. So it just cost me three fifty and a head cold. It's great. <laughs> and hopefully, you know, maybe a sandwich for Miles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles probably got a sandwich out of it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's always good going to my parents' bath means you're gonna get a lunch from my mother. That's good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and with Save Travels Don't Die, which I adore, I absolutely my favourite and watching you do the recording for other voices for the for the new series and Dingle, it was just sensational when you did it. I think, you know, everybody was just going mental. It's so much fun and I it's it really seems to kind of unleash your mischief and personality when you're on stage, which is great. Oh, thank you. Well, I, I with that song, you know, it, I just thought the sentiment was so lovely and pure. And a friend of mine always would sign text messages, safe travels, don't I? I just thought, wow, that is, that is just how you feel about everybody that you care about, isn't <laughs> You know? And with the video, I'd seen Chris Judge's The Lonely Beast. I'd seen, I'd seen the, the promo for that. And I just thought, oh, this would be great. He could, the Lonely Beast could go on a new adventure. And then I was talking to him and Kian O'Clarty that also did the video. And they said, no, no, we're going we're gonna to make a whole new character. And went to Renata Henschke to make this incredible little tiny, tiny tweed suit. Um, this incredible little character. And yeah, it, was, it was so wonderful. They just took it and off they went. And I had nothing to do with that video. You didn't even have to show up? No, no, nothing. I wish I did. I wish I could have gotten to go on that bus and that little rowboat and everything it was it was beautiful just such a beautiful little short film that they made I was I was blown away but um I've been trying to think up sort of one take videos now for the because it was so much fun with doing those with knots we had a one take as well with all the paint in the face and uh you know there's something there's something kind of the inner narrative that you have when you just have your three minutes of film and there's something compelling about that 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 if you don't have loads of money to have sort of fancy lenses and, and cuts and storyboarding and you know it's kind of nice just to have this is what happened for three minutes <laughs> although my miming is really really bad to five or five really find it hard i think miming would be impossible and like a lot of videos i'm, I'm sure there's sort of some of the expensive ones but they're in like when they do them fast so you have to sing slow or walk fast or walk slow it just seems far too complicated I don't know how people do it. I just I find it really impossible, and I, I just look I just look like I'm miming all the time. You can see the fear in my eyes. I don't know, <laughs> trying to remember my own words. I think you always sort of try and sing something quite differently, and it's hard when you suddenly have to revert back to the way you sang it that one time in the studio. You know? Is there an element as well that you don't know what you look like when you sing, and then for video suddenly you're conscious of how you look? Maybe it's a DJ thing for me. I don't know what I do with my hands when there's a camera on me because when I'm talking in the studio, nobody sees me. Then all of a sudden, when the minute somebody's at you, I'm like, where are my hands? What no? are we doing? Yeah, maybe that's it. You're absolutely right. I've never really seen myself sing before. 
but with miming you have to sing along so that you can sort of you know all the mechanics have to do with your what neck they has to move what they do that you yeah. imperceptibly know that somebody's talking yeah, I, know. I don't know I just look sort of like a deer in headlights really <laughs> deer in headlights with paint on my face <laughs> At least it's a nice way to be able to express your creativity and you and use your friends' talents and come back to Ireland and do things like that. Yeah, oh, there's so many great filmmakers in Ireland at the moment. Um, I'm doing some work with Michael Kelly as well from oh, Finnish really? films. Oh, great. Yeah, we we made a video for What Will I Do um, the other day in Thunderland. No. I went on the the roller coaster 18 times in a row <laughs> to do another one take video. We, you know, we just thought this would be fun. I'll just try and sing it on a roller coaster. But I tell you, 18 times on, on the roller coaster is not is not good. That doesn't sound fun at all. Do you? I, I do. I like an old roller coaster. But you know, there's a limit. There's a physical limit. <laughs> you think this is not. This is actually not good for anyone. You know. I mean, <laughs> That's the fun side. So now that you're you're here at your Sonic and you're strutting your stuff and selling your wares, or more to the point, the sort of label and management you're doing that, and you're coming along and doing what you do with a full band, which is great. And I think that's one of the things that everybody remarked upon at the at the Grand Theatre was just, wow, I've never seen Lisa with was it seven of you on stage? No, we're like the polyphonic spree now. Yeah. Um, yeah, Lucy Wilkins, who plays violin on the record, she came over for your Sonic, which is which is great. And then. In normally we're six strong, which is still a pretty big yeah. band, but yeah, seven is sort of, we're like, yeah, we're like uh, a nursery one. <laughs> well, and it's good, it's good, you know, we've got to show United Strunt. And you were talking about, uh, uh, you were talking about strutting. Yeah. And the, you know, the guys in the band are much better at strutting than me, so I thought, best foot forward. <laughs> let them do it. Just let them go and strut, strut around the place and, yeah. you know, blaze a trail. And is the idea to promo a big European tour, is this about European releases of Passenger? Because you've spent so much time in North America, and North America has really been very good to you, and all the big tours you've done in the past with Jason Raz and people like that. So are you kind of focusing energy more here now? Well, the record's coming out here on Monday, and, um, and Luxembourg and Belgium on Monday. And the first record didn't come out in Europe at all. At all. I'm, I never toured here at all. So. I just, I really wanted to, um, and so this time, yeah, it's all sort of starting to come out in Europe, Passenger, and I think maybe CISO as well, sort of retrospectively, um, and so, yeah, it's about it's about the release, but also I'd love to come here and tour and do some festivals, and so, because I've never done anything here before, I'm sort of, you know, trying to jump me up and down and waving. You can spend <laughs> four years even just getting to know the States, so, I mean, it you have done that for so long that I suppose it never occurred to me that you hadn't spent any time here. Yeah, none. And it's, yeah. it's such an, uh, not an oversight, we just visit, because we put the record out ourselves, myself and my manager, so we, we, we just, you know, we physically couldn't do that in, in France and Germany and the Netherlands and everywhere. So now we are signed to PS and they, and now they are doing their, they are piercing around the place. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a bit dodgy. Well, I, I have to say, I, I wish you well and safety in the container, is it, Lisa? The container? container. Yeah. I hope I get out alive. It yeah. sounds really quite sinister. Lisa Hannigan and her ukulele hit the container and you're a Sonic. Last time seen. Yeah, yeah. I was never seen again. Yeah. Well, at least there's no bungee cord. There's no fear of crocodiles and rivers. Or yeah. Well, we'll see. We haven't yeah. seen the container yet. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, it, it does sound like one of the uh, things from Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. You know, like a eat your way out through, yeah. through yeah, miles of bugs and yeah. hopefully not, yeah. hopefully not. Hopefully it's a happy musical container. <laughs> well, listen, congratulations on everything so far and good luck with the release on Monday. That's so exciting. Yeah. It's going to be great. It certainly <laughs> will be great. And yeah. Yeah, I'm